To begin using a microscope, plug it in. Turn it on. If no light appears, turn the light adjustment knob. You should have already turned the objective lenses so that the smallest lens, the scanning lens, is facing down. Take your slide, place it on the stage, use the slide clip to hold the slide securely in place. Use the stage controls to move the slide back and forth and looking down from above, center the tissue you want to look at over the light source. Now let's zoom in and see more specifically what we should do next. I'm going to explain to you how to use a microscope, how to find what you're looking for on a specific slide. There are two secrets that I'll give you along the way. One of those is to begin using a scanning lens. That's the weakest lens. In this case, it's a 4X lens. So when you're using it, it's a total magnification of 40x, 10 from the ocular eyepiece and 4 from the objective lens. I have placed the slide on the stage, and I've taken the time to center the specimen over the light. What I need to do now is use the coarse focus knob, bring the specimen almost into focus, and do a small amount of adjustment, making it perfect with the fine focus knob. This is a crucial moment. This is when you should take the extra two or three seconds to be sure what you want to see is in the middle of the field of view. So the two secrets you have for success are always begin with a scanning lens always take the time to put what you're interested in in the middle of the field of view. Now you can change lenses. We're switching to the next highest objective lens, which in this case is a 10x lens. So use of this lens means we're magnifying the object a hundred times, a hundred x. What you're looking at needs to be focused, but only with the fine focus knob. Again, you need to take the time to make sure what you're interested in is in the center of the field of view. So I've taken that two or three seconds, in this case to center the egg that I'm interested in, in this slide of a cat over it. And I've fine focused. Now I can switch to the next lens. In this case it's a 40x lens, so when we're using it we're magnifying the specimen 400 times. This is the high dry lens. Because the microscope is parfocal, this means all we need to adjust is the fine focus. The specimen may not be exactly in the center of the field of view, but it will be visible. The two secrets I've given you, the two requirements for success, are always to begin looking at the slide with the scanning lens, Always take the time to put what you're interested in in the very center of the field of view. 